subsequent link balance. And if all your links are coming from one type of source, again, it looks fishy, like you purchased the links, which is a big no-no. And speaking of purchasing backlinks, it's generally not a good idea, and you'll get found out and likely banned from Google. However, you know, I'm good at telling you the tricks of the trade, folks. <laughs> there is one technique hardly anybody knows about, but now you're going to know about it because of good old Tom here. And that is purchasing or actually renting an entire page on a respected site. Now, this could cost you a few bucks, but it would not look fishy. And you can control the anchor text. And here's another thing, the placement of links on the page, which is my next topic. See, all things being equal, the higher up in the HTML code and usually displayed on the page the backlink is, the more valuable it is. The lower, the less valuable. And if it's in a sidebar, that's not as valuable either because it's just repeated on every page. All right, now let me tell you another thing you should know about is do follow and no follow. You'll see these terms when people are talking about linking. A do follow link means the link is structured so that it's telling the search engine, yes, we really believe in this other site and we're sending some of our authority to that site. And it's you can go follow this link, go over there, and we're vouching for them. All right, that's like the layman's explanation, all right? A nofollow link is better than nothing, but it's not as good as a dofollow link. A nofollow link actually has a link to you just the same as the other link, except it's telling the search engines, listen, we're not sending any of our authority to this other site. It's just informational. And so 